Oh. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not smoking crack. Lenovo's engineers are smoking crack when they designed the power button on this yoga. I'm just trying to figure out what strain it was. This is a Lenovo Yoga 720 13 whatever the fuck motherboard. On this computer, the power button is on the side. Right there. So you push that in, and then it somehow pushes the power switch itself, and the computer turns on. Why is this a bad design? Okay, so this customer came to me because the laptop was not turning on. When you press the power button on the side, you couldn't feel that click. Um, so obviously there was an issue with the power button. I took it apart, and I noticed the power switch itself is supposed to have something that goes on top of it to actually click it when you press over here. Now, this button alone can't press that switch by itself. It needs something else to transmit or to transfer this horizontal motion to a vertical motion. And I couldn't find it. I was like, well, where is it? And then as I'm looking inside the laptop, I see this microscopic piece of metal. It's super hard to see. So the most important component of this laptop is reliant on this piece of switch that's made of cheap aluminum and it's attached to cheap plastic that you can see is so brittle it's actually deteriorating on the power button itself. This is the most commonly used, you press this power button thousands of times during the laptop's usage and this plastic is so brittle. So why is this so bad? I can't replace this piece of metal because I can't solder on a new power button right here. First of all, you can't even buy this power switch. They don't, you can't, you can't find them anywhere. And that's the only way to turn this, this computer on, unless I drill something, like drill a hole or something right here where the mechanism is. It's a stupid, 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 stupid design. I don't understand how this was even approved. Oh, oh, let's not forget. Don't you click off yet, folks, all right? They have another switch. Just in case the power button fails, they have what's called a Novo switch. It's a reset button. I don't know why they call it Novo. They want to be special. It's a reset button. So there's a little hole on the side of the laptop right there. It's about as wide as Lupe's. So the idea is that you push a needle or something through this hole and it presses on the reset switch. But guess what? The reset switch uses the same design that the power switch does. And this reset switch is also broken because Barbara probably shoved a, a needle in there, you know, after she was, she was done trimming her, her nails. I don't know why she needs a needle to do that, but it broke the, the reset switch completely. Um, you probably can't see it from that angle, but this reset switch is, is completely snapped off. So the failsafe for a shitty design is another shitty design. If you look on the forums, if you go online, you look to see who else has had this problem. This is a known issue. So on Lenovo's own forums, everybody was complaining about it, how the power switch is broken. And this guy, actually, the mechanism itself failed because it's, again, cheap plastic. And this guy had the switch come right off. Just think about it. When, when Barbara, with her six-inch nails, tries to push this power button, it's going to push it too hard, right? And it's going to snap the power button right off. It's like p making your gas pedal made out of cardboard. You know what I mean? This is the most important component of the entire laptop, and they cheap out uh, and, and make and create this stupid design to turn it on. It's infuriating. So basically, this entire laptop is, is fucked. I'm going to have to either replace the motherboard or, again, just drill a hole, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to drill a hole right there. But why should you have to do that? This laptop's only a few years old, uh, and it costs like 1200 bucks brand new. So this is just another example of laptop manufacturers not giving a shit when they design your product, um, especially these consumer products, the ones that they don't care about they they want this thing to break right because then you buy a new one in two years i always talk shit about these lenovo yogas and, and that's why because it's you think it's this fancy nice laptop but you take it apart and everything is just shit quality how long has lenovo been making computers how long have they had power buttons all right the power button design should be a simple fucking design it's a button that you press and it activates a switch on the computer Maybe it's in the keyboard, which I don't like, but a lot of people are doing that too. HP does it, Mac or Apple does it. Yeah, this is me ranting because every fucking day I see this bullshit in these consumer laptops and it frustrates me. And, you know, I see reviews, people going to CES and reviewing all these nice new laptops. And all I can think in my head is, hmm, I wonder what's going to break on that thing. You know, in a few years, that thing's going to come into my shop. I wonder what's going to be broken on it. Is it going to be the hinge, the power button, uh, the trackpad? It sucks. This is what I think about, because I clearly have a life that's full of excitement, right?